Hey guys, it's John. Welcome to my playthrough of Dredge. Dredge is a fishing horror game. I think it's a horror game anyway, or at least it has horror elements and themes. So it'll be it'll be dark and mysterious and suspenseful. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know what it looks like, to be honest. Uh, in some of the YouTube videos that my friends have uploaded, I've seen that there's a lighthouse and this kind of seascape looking thing, and that's about all I've ever seen from the game. So the reason I'm playing it is because I've heard from a lot of different people and, uh, you know, after seeing it nominated at the Game Awards for a couple different things, that it's a very good game and one of the best of 2023. And so I've decided to check it out before we... Oh, let's do... Can we do clock style 12 hour? I'm so sorry, but it's just better for me as an American. I know I'm a pain. Uh, and let's check here. This is all fine. Do we have uh, subtitles? Anyway, I think it's like $20 on Steam or something like that. But I'm playing it with a controller because I like to look up before I play these games, are they better on mouse and keyboard or controller? And uh, the first result said controller, so I'm gonna check it out. I don't know how long this playthrough will be. Thinking eight parts, nine parts, 10, something like that, 12 maybe at most. We'll go ahead and start a new game. Depends on how much I get into it, to be honest. So that's us, we're the angler. I love the art style. Looking hand painted over here. So he's shipwrecked, is that it? The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things into one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really keep creep up on you. Okay. Is that so? Okay, I guess we will undock. All right. Okay, I can see why they want me to use the controller. Adjust height. Okay. Oh wow, you can do top down or you can do behind behind the boat third person. Move to a fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surface then press A to start fishing, okay? So this is disturbed water. I'll go ahead, hang on. Let me find a good angle to be at. Can I be over here? There's nothing over here right now. Otherwise I'm like covering up the money up there. Let me check real quick and make sure that we're... Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, disturbed water stock high. Okay, so we can start fishing. Oh, okay, so you hit the skill checks. It's like Dead by Daylight. I caught a blue mackerel. And you got this RE4 style inventory. Okay, I'm liking this already. Practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. Wow. Okay, I guess we'll pick it up. Oh, no, no, we're good. Okay, so I can... I caught another blue mackerel. Is that all that's here? 
Okay, how many? You know what? Maybe we'll go a little further out. It's already 8.30. What's this? Inspect. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. You know, I like the uh, typeface here. This is pretty nice. Can you tell what kind of... Oh, okay. Like, look, you can tell by the shape of the fish. Okay. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, it's because it's shallow water? Oh, okay. So I guess I can get something later for that? Oh. Okay, we'll try this. Listen, you're talking to a man. Let's get something straight here. You're talking to a man 100% Stardew Valley over here, okay? I caught all the legendary fish. I even caught all the alternate legendary fish, the legendary fish's children. Yeah. I caught all of them. You think I'm gonna have trouble with this fishing horror game? Huh? <laughs> Sounds like you don't know who you're talking to. Okay, so this is a cod, plentiful and basic. I might wanna catch a couple of these then, because I think I, the, the blue mackerel, it's no good. Um, can I, so I can rotate it. Okay, so I could, oh, oops. It's like that. Okay, I like the little Tetris gameplay. Let's catch uh, some eels over here. Can I get this? Shallow. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay, so like, if I stop, then I'm not... Right, so this is blue mackerel. Do I really want to catch the worthless fish? I feel like the answer is no. What about this? What about them? Oceanic is the depth. You know, the right equipment for this spot. What is my equipment? A basic fishing pole. We gotta get that shit up to Iridium stat. Install time, two hours. Operational fishing speed, plus 35%. Splintered and fragile. This rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fishes. I see. Peculiar engine is our boat engine. Operational. Oh, so we can get a faster engine. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. Interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna keep uh, going. We got plenty of time, right? Until like midnight? Okay, what are these? What are these fish over here? Okay, it's, uh, it's these guys again. Let me press Y. So that's our cargo. We have damage. We can get damaged. Let's take a look at our pursuits. Catch fish for the day. We can check the encyclopedia. Okay, so we've got blue mackerel and cod. There's 76 pages, 151 different types of fish. Okay, I... I know we're really early. We're not, we're not even 10 minutes in. But when I say I'm all in on this game so far. It's like Stardew Valley, but all you do is catch fish and there's like creepy elements to it. I'm gonna be playing this all night. I was talking to the, I was talking to the guys about playing some League of Legends later, but like, I mean, I might have to call an audible. Call a rain check, if you will. Why hasn't there been a game like this until now? Are there, are there other games like this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, those are like, oh, those are like killer whales. Okay. I mean, that's not nothing, right? Killer whales, oof. What is this? Okay, I have this. 20th August, 1927. Message in a bottle. 
Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheels instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay, uh, so I think I was just reading a note written by a woman. Didn't want to jump to conclusions, but considering he named it Julie before, what's this? Can I pick this up? Those are just logs. Shapes in the deep. Not really, not really deep. So how come, the, so there's two towns, is that right? Lights help you see, but make you more visible too. Okay, so can I catch these? Ooh, squid! Arrow squid! Rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm catching more of these. Oh no. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Oh. Okay. I see the Eldritch Eye up there. Okay, we're coming up. It's like 10 p.m. I'm thinking maybe we go... We head in. Oh, wow. Do you see that rock just popped up? Okay, we dock. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Okay. Where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. $50 remaining. Okay, and this is update a pursuit for me. Selfish at fishmonger. So that's just a mission. I thought I was wondering how, how many I would get. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain kind of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off here first. So, let's see what you got. Okay. Sell for $15. Dude, the blue mackerels are like six bucks. That's not worthless. Oh, I just sold all of them. Oh, I pressed X to sell 
Well, that's fine. I just wanted to see exactly how much they were going to get me first. Okay. The mayor is staying outside the fishmonger's store. Damn, give me some space, dude. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part. A curious-looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. I'll put it here. <sighs> oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh my god. Everybody needs to... Give me some space. By the way, it's amazing that we're able to visit all these people and no time has passed. Let me look at the research. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so these are different rods. Currently, I've got the flexible fishing pole. It catches coastal and shallow, apparently. But then how come... Oh, this is better than the one that I have. I want that. Oh, I need to get another research part for it. Oh, I see. Volcanic, shallow, mangrove, coastal. Oh, so this one... Catches everything. Mechanically assisted reels allow the catching of significantly larger species. Hydraulic rod. Oh, I should have got this then, because that catches oceanic. Okay, well, I didn't realize that. You can also upgrade your engines. Uh, pots and nets as well, but those aren't available yet. Okay, let's go to the shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Weighted line. Oh, I can, I can just buy these? A simple skimmer for $75 catches shallow. But the weighted line is $150. Let's see. can buy new lights. Okay. I think I'll save up for this weighted line right here. Yeah. Ship loan repayments, $33 remaining. Oh, I see. So... Let's take a look. Okay, arrow squid. I see. So there's a bunch of different, oh my God. So we're just in the Marrows right now. Gale Cliffs, Stellar Basin, Twisted Strand, Devil's Spine, Open Ocean, Aberrations. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so then rest here. Let's rest. Is there any kind of, like, timing I should be concerned about? Because it says Tuesday, day two. Okay, so now I can undock and I can go fishing again, right? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now that I know what to do. Might as well catch these. How much time does it take to, to fish these? 721. 
So it takes about half an hour to get these. Okay. Got it. Oh yeah, I don't have shallow. This only catches coastal. Okay. Um In that case, we'll keep uh looking around. Can I get this? Okay, these these are worth quite a bit. From what I remember anyway. Oh, depleted. Oh, that was it. Okay. Let's see if we can catch a new type of fish. What about these guys? Are these guys any good? Ooh. Oh, these are just blue mackerel again. What about these guys? There's like a... Are those like a bigger fish? Let me see if I can catch it. Oh, it's oceanic. I see. How about you guys? Oh, it's just these. Well, yeah, I mean, I can catch these. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I want to catch, like, as many fish as possible. If I catch a certain number of fish, can I go back, sell, and then go back out? The spot has been depleted. Oh, because it's the last one. Is it okay to deplete spots? Like, if you deplete them, does that mean that they... They won't come back? Like, do you not... Do you not want to deplete spots? It's like, the spot has been depleted. So, like, does that population never come back? Or what? I'm just curious. I, I don't... Because I don't really know. We're going to avoid that town for now. Oh, I, I think I can't get these guys yet. Yeah. So what about this stuff? Dredge. Okay. So you have to have, like, a special kind of equipment to... To get driftwood? Kind of crazy. Let's catch some squid if I can. Oh, I left my light on all day. Oh, damn the eels. Okay, I I didn't I didn't do like great today, sadly. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Stock low. Can I keep fishing? Depleted. This spot has been depleted. See, like, what does that mean? I guess I'll, when I come back tomorrow night, I'll find out. Oh my god. It's like in Stardew Valley trying to get back home before... You fall asleep at 2 o'clock a.m. I think it's 2 o'clock anyway. Okay, so if we go to the fishmonger. I've got a special order coming through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Oh, tell me about the order. They asked for one gold flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. No need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths, so I can pay you more for them. Right. Oh, okay. So the so some of them are bigger. Ah, I didn't even notice that. This one's worth a lot. Is there any reason why I would want to like hang on? To any of these fish like I don't know I don't want to sell this one or should I just sell I think I should just sell all of them right I'll do that until I learn otherwise until something happens that tells me not to do that 
I've got a good feeling about these engines. They'll take you far away. Reliable, too. Provide you take care of them. Okay, I would like to get... The weighted line, because the fishing speed is much better than the simple skimmer. So, it's $150. Is there... Oh! Okay, so it's almost 2 a.m. now. Burning the midnight oil. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh, let's talk to the mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Will you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Oh, right. Uh, sure. Little Marrow. The mayor hands you a small, damp package, bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Definitely. I'm going to rest first, though. Okay, so... Let's take a look at what I have to do. I've got to get one flounder and one eel. And I've got to deliver the package to the dock worker at Little Marrow. Package feels quite dense and damp. Something is seeping through the paper. Curious, but I won't open it. It's to the east. Oh, we're in the Marrows. Greater Marrow. So wait, why can't I go there? Oh, that, oh, that, it's marked. I thought, I thought the red X was like, no, you can't go here. <laughs> what the heck? You want to go here? No, you won't be able, no, no, you can't do that. No way, bro. Okay. Here I go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get an eel, you know it. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, I caught one, a gray eel. Oh my gosh. It's gonna take some time to get used to that. Uh, so it says stock low. Okay. Is there anything here? Oh, these are the blue mackerel. Okay, I need to learn to recognize them. It's like, what's this? You're not blue mackerel, are you? No, you're that, uh, you're that other thing. The cod. Okay, what about these? Flounder? Yeah, gulf flounder. Oh, these are big. What? Okay, I'll, I'll get two of them. A pathetic, cowardly, bottom-dwelling fish. Uh, gray eel, a slimy creature, tainted with the silt and muck of the seabed. All right, let's uh deliver this. This is little marrow, right? What? Delivery? What's it here? He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Ugh, this smells foul. You obviously took your sweet time getting here with this. Oh. 
Oops. He won't let me pay for delivering this state, but... Hmm. Maybe I can give you this? I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls out a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Okay, and there's the uh, trader here. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Any trinkets? Uh, no, sir, I do not. Sorry about that. But, um... Okay. I'm gonna go back to Greater Marrow now. So are these the flounders over here? Oh, what the hell? It's a stingray. Oh, holy hell. Okay, so... I see. Items left here will be lost. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. Okay. And so it begins. Right. Now, I need a block of. Well, actually, that might be the way to go. Okay. There we go. Nice. And now we'll head back. Okay. I'll turn off your light. It was on that whole time. Okay, so we've been to Little Marrow now. Does it mark it on the map? For it does. Okay, and there's a town to the south as well. But we'll go there some other time. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. Okay. Yeah, I don't have to do top down. Oh, you can see like the sunset and stuff from here. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, I'm coming in. Okay, let's go to the fishmonger. We got any fish for that order? Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. Keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Okay. Great eel. Okay. Oh, you can just do that. You can just click the... Yeah, you can click the sticks in. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. $52. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna sell the rest of these. Debt adjusted. I believe I've paid it off. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his steps. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I haven't exactly chosen, now have I? Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. 
We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Uh, how do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. Select an upgrade project to begin adding materials to it. Plus two rod spaces. Oh, wow. More cargo space. New hull. Five new cargo spaces. $500! That's so expensive! Let's see what the fishmonger has to say. Keep an eye out for larger fish. Oh! I guess the mayor was talking about, like, the missions that you can go on. Okay. Wait, what is this? Sustainable fishing. Selected as active book, past time to read. I haven't read this yet. Oh. So let's see. So in the Marrows right now, and this includes all depths, I've caught one, two, three, four, five. Haven't, ca haven't caught six, seven. Is that like a blue marlin? Ooh, sharks, nine and 10. 11 is a crab and 12. That's like a, that's like a, it's like crabby and kingler over here. Okay, and then the next are gale cliffs. Okay, so there's 12 different uh, sea creatures you can catch here. Very cool, very cool. I delivered the package. Two arrow squid. One black grouper. So the, do the black groupers only bite at night as well, or? I think I can go out for a quick bite. I said to get back before midnight, right? What's this? The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. Oh, jeez. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Damn. All right, well, now I gotta go back. Too late now. Um, dude, it takes like an hour to come into dock. Okay. Oh, did I not finish docking? Okay. Let's rest. I'll try to save some, uh, I guess I can stop resting before I, before dawn, right? Okay. Okay, let's try to identify. So these are blue mackerel right here. Those are gold flounder over there. These are gray eel. Now I don't have oceanic available yet. What are these? Oh yeah, these are blue mackerel. Now, checking out the map. That goes out into Devil's Spine. I do want to check out down here though. So, you know what? Oh wait, what's this? Oh, that's like, but I can't get this like wood and stuff, yeah? Cause I have to have, yeah, yeah. yeah. A fishing pole for dredge. Okay. Let's see if I can head out there. That might be fun. Might take me a good portion of the day to get there. 
So we're definitely going to have to upgrade our engines at some point. I got it. I'm pretty sure that's blue mackerel over there. Let's check over here and see if there's anything. Oh, these are eels? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? So are these the same eels? Kind of seems like it. I didn't know if it was going to be like, Great eel! These are great eels, actually. Did I say gray eel? Green eel! These are green eels! Blue eel! Okay. Yeah, let's go over here and see what's up. What is this place? Does, is there no dock? Oh, no, there is. Okay, ruined mansion. The door is locked. Oh, what? Workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. What the hell? Blackstone Isle is this place, huh? Okay. I like... Oh, wait. I'm still reading? Huh. That's sustainable fishing. I wonder if I get, like, a benefit from it. Okay. So, I've basically... I've explored... The towns that I can go to in the Marrows. I haven't been up here, though. I'm guessing I probably don't have enough time to get up there. But you know what I should really be doing is I should be fishing. And I can't catch anything big, like... Can't do... Uh... You know, the sharks or whatever. What are these things? Eh. Might as well catch it, right? Blue mackerels, like... Depleted. Spot has been depleted. I assume that like the spot's just depleted for the night. Oh, this is trench. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Can I get are these squids right here? These are, these are eels. Oh my goodness. I can't see anything really. Okay, so not Great. Wait, where am I going? Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's go inside. I think I can still make it before midnight. I don't know how hard that deadline is. Oh, wow, we really cut it close. 11.57. Some fish prefer deeper water. Okay, I'm just gonna sell the fish. I have $258. Or the shipwright. Your boat's looking all banged up. I can repair that if you like. Uh, yeah, sure. I would like that. Repair all. $30? Okay, that was a $30 bump, huh? Rusty outboard engine. Plus 10 KN. Um, plus 14. So the peculiar engine is better than what you have. Let's see. So these are these are crap engines. 
So I've got I've got the best line that I can get for shallow. And I can't buy any engines from you. I need to get some more research parts. What I should have gotten is I should have gotten the hydraulic rod. Is there any way to like remove the research part from that? Because I didn't notice that this was a rod. Because then I could catch oceanic uh, fish. It kind of seems like the research parts are kind of rare. Because overall, like, I mean, the biggest ones here are like four and five. So I wonder if I kind of blew it. I don't know. Let's rest. I, I assume that the game is kind of like, do whatever you want, right? Like, go at whatever pace you want at this point. So I think I might want to go north and see what that's all about. And, uh, yeah, don't, don't hit anything. I think when you deplete a fishing spot, it doesn't repopulate. I might be wrong, but I think there was, I could have sworn there was a spot over there that's not there anymore. Okay, that's some flotsam over there. Eh. Oh, I finished uh, reading. Check cabin for bonuses. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Oh. I see. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, I'll turn off the light for now. What does LB do? Oh. A loud horn. You can do the fog horn. Spyglass. Oh. Oh. So there's cod. Okay, oceanic. That's really cool. The spyglass. I like that. So what's that? Blue mackerel. Okay, well, that's not that interesting. Uh, what about that? Can you see all the way over there? Blue mackerel and cod. Okay. Sorry, bro. Can't get any dredge right now. Yeah, this is, uh... Definitely interesting. So what else do I have? Oh, a foghorn. And you can get a bunch of different other stuff. That's neat. All right. Now, I came all the way out here. How's it going? Oh. So this is just... Steel Point. It's just like a rest spot on your way to other places. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's... uh. Dredge. That's not what I want. What about blue mackerel? Okay, there's one like over there. Oceanic. Seems like I I missed my missed my opportunity with the research part. Okay, well we'll just tell you what. I'm not gonna fish until I get closer because I feel like I'm wasting another day. Oof. Not very good at this dredge game, guys. This is blue mackerel as well, right? Or, well, it's cod. Okay, so... Oh, okay. If I do up, I can just go straight to the map. So currently, I'm coming back. And there's nothing on the other side of Greater Marrow, is there? Because they've got, like, the towns and, like, stuff that you can stop at. They've got like black dots. Oh my god, you can go all the way to the edge. Look at that. 
I wonder what steel point is for, because I don't see other rest stops like that, really. It seems like you're, you're designed to hang out at the Marrows until you can get the engine upgraded enough for you to be able to get over to another place in one day. I really wish I could catch oceanic fish. I guess I gotta wait until it's like... Um... Oh. Until it's nighttime to get some squid. Okay. Grotesque mask mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. What the hell? What? Number 68. Oh, wow. Gotta catch them all. Show the fishmonger. Okay. Uh... Yeah, for sure, bro. Okay, so... Hang on. So those are gray eels, right? Arrow squid, over there. We gotta get to it. Bring the light out. We can we can uh, pause over here too. What's this? Oh, okay. Okay. So. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if there's any other place to... Okay. So I can, I can rest here, too. I don't know where the black grouper is. So if I, if I wake up here... It's 520, right? But can I still... Undock? And get like an early start to the day, or is that not okay? Oh, you can still catch arrow squid. There are no fish here right now. Depleted. Okay. I think you do deplete certain um, areas, but then there's just new ones later. So it's not like you can run out of fish. I mean, that's, that's just as I understand it. Okay, let's show the fishmonger this uh, aberration. Ooh, and we can also turn in our arrow squid. Unless I have to, like, keep it. Until I get the black grouper, which I don't think I should have to. I mean, I don't think that's how it should work. Fisherman, have you run to a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Well, I was I was just over there. We got any fish for that order? Hmm. It's starting to hurt my throat to do that. He's gonna keep the uh, order on ice. Okay, good. I gotta get that, I gotta get that grouper somehow. Okay. Not a regular business. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against its bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From the stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. 
Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. So what I get? A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. Let's put that in storage. Okay. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Oh my gosh, so many characters. Uh, not right now. Okay. I found this book out back. Could, what? You're just giving that to me? Rods, reels, and rigs. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. I'm selling these. Okay. Nice. I guess we'll head south. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, so those are cod. Blue mackerel, cod. I'm, I'm going to like recognize them from a distance. Shark thing. Oceanic thing that I can't catch yet. <laughs> but I wish I could, trust me. Uh, blue mackerel again. I'm already an expert at dredge. JK, you guys get so tilted when I say stuff like that. Who thinks he's an expert? Have you seen his gameplay? Bro, buddy, have you seen your gameplay? Old buddy, old pal? My dude? Anybody that calls me my dude, I block. Or my guy. That's even worse. Just because you're doing well in the intro to the game doesn't mean that you're an expert on it, my guy. Oh, shut up. Get shoved into a locker. Okay. Here we go. You don't have the handkerchief with you. The man seemed interested. Okay. Well, I will... I'll make sure to get it. Okay. The man is staying in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. <gasps> Find me those lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the appropriate alterations. What do you say? Yeah, sure. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Now, wasn't there like a photographer or something that went south? Who went south? Can we look at something real quick? Let's see. I can catch dredge now. Yay! 
Who's excited, bro? What's this? It's got stuff. Lumpy mackerel. A writhing mass of lumps twisting and pulling their way under the scales of their vessel. How long can it have lived like this? Okay, so am I to understand? Let's take a look at the pursuits. Search for relics. Right. Um. Lumpy mackerel. So. So do I take this to him or do I take it to uh, the fishmonger first and then he searches it for relics? I'm pretty sure I have him search for relics, don't I? Well, let's get some dredge, bro. Nighttime. Shapes in the deep. Press X to ch- Oh! Wait, wait, what? Oh my god, oh my god! I- I- Oh my god. Oh, I see. Nothing! Oh no, I got a worn gold ring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, so, but that's not, that's not what you needed, right? Oh, read it, please. Sorry. Uh, the ring in Stellar Basin. Oh, that's not the, that's not the ring that you, oh my God. Hard to see at night. I really want to upgrade my, oh no, it's like 1030. Oh, it's because I did so badly on the thing. I did so badly. Okay, so it's past midnight, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, I've got so many people to talk to. Sell all fish. Oh, sorry. So I guess I should have taken it to the... I thought he was going to find something in it. Who do I sell the worn gold ring to? I mean, I'm not sorry that I sold it to him because I got money, but... Lionel's Keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an... A natural glow. Rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Okay. Have you heard of any strange things happening? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Uh, have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? I should go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Let's talk to the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Uh, it's peaceful. It's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. This now that I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. <laughs> just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. 
Wow, okay. Thank you. I really needed a new pursuit. Yeah, look out, everybody's got so many things they want me to do. Okay, so, so that's where you say there's stuff. Okay, okay. Got it. Well, I think that's probably where I'm going to end part one of Dredge. I'm really liking this game so far. It's, um, it's more, it's more Stardew Valley than it is, you know, Amnesia. But yeah, I'm having a great time so far. Hope you are having a good time too. And I'll see you in the next video posted two days from now. Hopefully. Hopefully there'll be a new video if you're watching this live every two days. Um, but if not, then it's coming the next day. So, all right. Glad we got that cleared up. All right, see you in the next one. Think critically.